Elasticsearch is an open source search engine that you can install and deploy within the PeopleSoft Search framework. Focus of this presentation Deployment options. Before you deploy Elasticsearch, Oracle recommends that you consider the deployment options, which are based on three use cases. The first method is where you perform a new installation of PeopleSoft 9.2 and Elasticsearch. This method is also applicable to users who are still using Verity or haven't deployed Oracle SES. The second method is to transition from Oracle SES to Elasticsearch with system downtime. And the third method is to transition from Oracle SES to Elasticsearch without downtime. This Spotlight series focuses on the first method, deploying Elasticsearch on a new installation of PeopleSoft 9.2. For information on transitioning from Oracle SES to Elasticsearch, see the Spotlight series, Moving from SES to Elasticsearch. This presentation also focuses on deploying Elasticsearch within the PeopleSoft Search framework, creating an Elasticsearch search instance, and adding additional Elasticsearch nodes. You'll find sources of additional information at the end of this presentation. Additional information, information about Elasticsearch documentation, accessing the Elasticsearch Spotlight Series videos, including moving from SES to Elasticsearch, Elasticsearch terminology, including a table of terminology used in the open source Elasticsearch product and in the PeopleSoft Search framework. In this Spotlight Series, we'll cover the following topics. In the first topic, PeopleSoft Search Framework and Elasticsearch. We'll briefly discuss PeopleSoft Search Framework and the Elasticsearch search engine. We'll also discuss the deployment options. PeopleSoft Deployment Packages, or DPKs, were introduced in PeopleTools 855 and are used to deploy Elasticsearch. In the Understanding Elasticsearch DPK topic, we'll describe how to obtain the Elasticsearch DPK and describe some of the software components it contains. In the prerequisites for deploying Elasticsearch topic, we'll talk about the hardware and software requirements and recommendations for Elasticsearch. In the Deploying Elasticsearch topic, we'll describe the Elasticsearch deployment process, the individual deployment steps, and the resulting file structure. The Creating Elasticsearch Instance topic takes you through the steps of configuring PeopleSoft Search Framework with Elasticsearch using the ACM plugins and PIA. At deployment, the Elasticsearch DPK creates a single node. The Adding Additional Nodes to Elasticsearch Cluster topic guides you through the steps of setting up additional nodes for the purpose of failover. And the final topic, Additional Information, provides resources for more information about the Elasticsearch Framework and the PeopleSoft Search Framework. Let's begin with a brief introduction to PeopleSoft Search Framework and the new search engine Elasticsearch. Also, let's consider the deployment options based on three use cases. The PeopleSoft Search Framework includes pages and records that provide a centralized interface to configure a search engine, create search definitions and search categories, build and maintain search indexes, and search content using global search and search pages. In PeopleTools 855 and earlier releases, the PeopleSoft Search Framework required the Oracle Secure Enterprise Search Engine or SCS. However, beginning with the PeopleTools 855.11 patch release, a new search engine, Elasticsearch, is available. As mentioned in the introduction, other search engines supported by PeopleSoft include Verity and Oracle SES. SES and Verity will be deprecated as of the PeopleTools 856 release, but SES will still be supported until April 2018. When you deploy the new Elasticsearch search engine, the process of creating queries, creating search definitions and categories, deploying search definitions and categories, and viewing search results are not changed. 
You can use existing SES search definitions and categories in Elasticsearch, but you need to build indexes for them. Here are some typical deployment scenarios that you can consider based on your business requirements. Use case 1, new installation of PeopleSoft 9.2 and Elasticsearch. Use case 2, transitioned from existing Oracle SES to Elasticsearch with downtime. And use case 3, transitioned from existing Oracle SES to Elasticsearch without downtime. Use case 1 presents a scenario where you are doing a fresh install of PeopleSoft 9.2 and Elasticsearch. This scenario is also applicable to users who are still using Verity or didn't deploy SES. This use case assumes the following. You are installing a PeopleSoft 9.2 application. For a new installation, you can start using Elasticsearch directly. The PeopleSoft application must include the appropriate fixes for Elasticsearch as delivered with the latest PeopleSoft update image. You need to refer to PeopleSoft applications, Elasticsearch updates and fixes on My Oracle support. The doc ID for this document is 2181988.1. The PeopleSoft application is on PeopleSoft PeopleTools 855.11 or higher patch level. You want to use Elasticsearch 2.3.2 as a search engine for the PeopleSoft search framework. Plan. Estimate resource requirements and review settings needed for the host on which you install Elasticsearch. Refer to the PeopleSoft deployment packages for Elasticsearch installation document on My Oracle support. The doc ID for this document is 2205540.2. Deploy DPK. Deploy the Elasticsearch DPK and run the configuration script on a Microsoft Windows or Linux host. Add instance. Sign into PIA in the PeopleSoft application to create and verify a search instance for Elasticsearch. You use the Automated Configuration Manager to run a template to create a search instance. Alternatively, you can use the Search Instance Properties page to create an instance. Take ES Updates. Download and deploy the current PeopleSoft update image for the PeopleSoft application. The latest update image will include features and fixes required to use Elasticsearch for the PeopleSoft Search framework. Taking Elasticsearch updates is discussed in the installation documentation and later in this video. Deploy Search Definitions Categories When you use the ACM template for creating a search instance, you can also automate the deploying of search definitions and categories. Alternatively, you can use the Deploy Search Definition and Deploy Search Category pages. PeopleTools 855 Search Technology Online Help contains detailed descriptions on deploying search definitions and categories in the Administering Search Definitions and Search Categories topic. Build Index When you use the ACM template for creating a search instance, you can also automate the building of an index. Alternatively, you can use the Schedule Search Index page to build an index of type Full Index. PeopleTools 855 Search Technology Online Help contains detailed description on building search indexes in the Working with Search Indexes topic. Test Perform acceptance testing. You use the Search Test page to perform acceptance testing. PeopleTools 855 Search Technology Online Help contains detailed description in working with PeopleSoft Search Framework Utilities topic. Build Index Repeat the full index build. This step is required if you are using a different Elasticsearch server in production than the one that you used for testing. Schedule Incremental Indexing To keep the search indexes current, schedule regular search index builds of type Incremental Index. PeopleTools 855 Search Technology Online Help contains detailed description in the Working with Search Indexes topic. After completing all of these steps, you can go live on Elasticsearch. If you want to do more reading on any of the steps, please refer to the 855 Search Technology Online Help and to the PeopleSoft Deployment Packages for Elasticsearch installation document. 
Use Case 2 presents a scenario where you already have SES deployed and you want to transition to Elasticsearch, allowing for downtime to move to the new search engine. This use case assumes the following. You have a PeopleSoft 9.2 application. The PeopleSoft application must include the appropriate fixes for Elasticsearch as delivered with the latest PeopleSoft update image. You need to refer to PeopleSoft applications Elasticsearch updates and fixes on my Oracle support. Doc ID 2181988.1. If you are upgrading to a PeopleSoft 9.2 application from an environment with Oracle SES already set up, you have the alternative to continue running Oracle SES on a production environment and set up Elasticsearch on a non production environment. You may choose this route to work on the PeopleSoft search framework, for example, to build indexes, test indexes, tune the system, and so on, on the non-production environment before moving to Elasticsearch on the production environment. The PeopleSoft application is on PeopleSoft PeopleTools 855.11 or higher patch level. The production environment is using Oracle SES as the search engine for the PeopleSoft search framework. You will create a non-production environment with Elasticsearch to carry out acceptance testing. Please note that the diagram on the slide assumes that the non-production PeopleSoft environment uses a non-production Elasticsearch server. You will schedule downtime to decommission the production environment using Oracle SES and begin using Elasticsearch. This use case is described in detail in another video titled PeopleSoft Spotlight Series, Moving from SES to Elasticsearch, or you may also refer to the Moving from SES to Elasticsearch document on my Oracle support, doc ID 2205540.2. Use Case 3 presents a scenario where you already have SES deployed and you want to transition to Elasticsearch, but you do not want to bring the system down to move to the new search engine. This use case assumes the following. You have a PeopleSoft 9.2 application. The PeopleSoft application must include the appropriate fixes for Elasticsearch as delivered with the latest PeopleSoft update image. You need to refer to PeopleSoft Applications, Elasticsearch Updates and Fixes on my Oracle support. The doc ID is 2181988.1. The PeopleSoft application is on PeopleSoft PeopleTools 855.11 or higher patch level. The environment is using Oracle SES as a search engine for the PeopleSoft search framework. You deploy, configure, and test Elasticsearch with the same environment and at the same time that you continue using Oracle SES. When you begin using Elasticsearch, you must perform a crawl for all indexes with a build type of full index. Depending upon the data volume for your system, and if you are doing this without an alternate search method, this could result in a long downtime. To help with this problem, the PeopleSoft Search Framework now provides a new feature called Live Cutover. After your system is configured with the Elasticsearch cluster, you can continue to use Oracle SES while at the same time building the Elasticsearch indexes. Once the indexes are built, you can switch to Elasticsearch without bringing the PeopleSoft environment down. This use case is described in detail in another video titled PeopleSoft Spotlight Series moving from SES to Elasticsearch, or you may refer to the moving from SES to Elasticsearch document on my Oracle support, doc ID 2205540.2. Now we'll consider the contents of the Elasticsearch DPK for deploying Elasticsearch. The Elasticsearch deployment package contains scripts to automate most of the tasks needed to set up an Elasticsearch environment. The Elasticsearch DPK sets up the Elasticsearch cluster in one or more nodes. A node is a single server that stores your data and participates in indexing and search capabilities. A cluster is a collection of one or more nodes that together hold all of your data and provides federated indexing and search capabilities across all nodes. The Elasticsearch DPK also sets up the administrator user and the proxy user. 
The setup script provides an option to upgrade a previous Elasticsearch installation. This option is not available on all Elasticsearch DPK revisions. Refer to the PeopleSoft Deployment Packages for Elasticsearch Installation, DOC ID 2205540.2, on My Oracle Support for information on the revision that supports your upgrade and for the instructions on upgrading. The Elasticsearch DPK includes the open source Elasticsearch software, PeopleSoft delivered plugins for Elasticsearch. These include plugins for authentication, authorization, encryption, and file web crawling. PeopleSoft delivered customized code for Elasticsearch. Python and Puppet software and PeopleSoft developed scripts that automate Elasticsearch deployment. And Oracle Java JRE 1.8. Oracle PeopleSoft plans to deliver a new revision of the Elasticsearch DPK. The new revision will include options to upgrade a previous version of Elasticsearch and Python scripts to automate the installation of Elasticsearch. Refer to the PeopleTools 8.55.11 or higher Elasticsearch page DOC ID 2205540.2 for the latest updates. Now we'll discuss the prerequisites for deploying Elasticsearch. Before you begin deploying Elasticsearch, please review the hardware requirements, software requirements, and other configuration and performance recommendations for Elasticsearch. You can find this information in the PeopleSoft Deployment Packages for Elasticsearch installation document on the Elasticsearch homepage. Hardware requirements to review include using a dedicated host computer for the Elasticsearch instance, and available RAM, disk space, and CPU on the host. Software requirements include a 64-bit Oracle certified platform and a physical or virtual Linux or Microsoft Windows Server operating system. PeopleSoft provides additional recommendations related to the Java heap size, swapping settings, disk drive types, and file descriptors and memory mapped files. Now we'll discuss the important process of deploying Elasticsearch in a PeopleSoft implementation. The high-level steps for deploying Elasticsearch are Step 1. Download and extract the Elasticsearch DPK. Step 2. Run the DPK setup script to deploy and set up Elasticsearch. Step 3. Verify the Elasticsearch deployment. Step 4. Apply the bug fixes delivered with the PeopleSoft update image for your PeopleSoft application. And Step 5. Set up the Elasticsearch search instance in PeopleSoft Search Framework. Note that in this Spotlight Series presentation, we describe and demonstrate deploying Elasticsearch on a Windows environment. The first step in deploying Elasticsearch is to download the Elasticsearch DPK. You can download the Elasticsearch DPK from the My Oracle Support website or from the Oracle Software Delivery Cloud. You then must extract the Elasticsearch DPK zip file. To do so, download it to an empty directory and extract the entire contents of the zip file in the same directory where you downloaded it. Note that for this presentation, ES underscore install is the location that we'll use to download the Elasticsearch DPK. So we'll extract the zip file into the same folder, that is ES underscore install. When you extract the file, several directories are created. An archives directory, which includes archives for deployment. A puppet directory, which includes the open source puppet software required for deployment. And a setup directory, which includes the setup scripts. When you extract the file, an Elasticsearch manifest file is also created. This file includes the version information about Elasticsearch and JRE provided in the DPK. The next step is to run the Elasticsearch DPK setup script. Execute the Elasticsearch DPK setup script and specify deployment options and settings. The deployment options and settings include to define the PeopleSoft base directory. This is the directory where the system installs Elasticsearch components. Define the administrator user password. The administrator user has permissions to authenticate requests on Elasticsearch. Define the proxy user password. 
The proxy user enables the PeopleSoft system to log into the search engine using a proxy identity to run a query. Next, specify a name for the Elasticsearch cluster. Specify an Elasticsearch HTTP port. Enter the host name or names for any nodes that are already part of a cluster. Specify the minimum number of master nodes. Enter a value and then press Enter. Specify the path where Elasticsearch data should reside. A default path is listed, but it is recommended to change the path to a location outside ES underscore home, the base directory. Specify the path where Elasticsearch log should reside. A default path is listed, but you may change the path if required. Define the Java heap size. The default value is 1 gigabyte. Refer to the PeopleSoft Deployment Packages for Elasticsearch installation document on the Elasticsearch homepage. And then review the status messages as the script runs and sets up the environment for Elasticsearch. The sequence of the prompts and some of the prompts may vary depending on the Elasticsearch DPK revision that you are using. Please refer to the PeopleSoft Deployment Packages for Elasticsearch installation document on my Oracle support Doc ID 2205540.2. On your environment, you may perform checks on the file structure and environment variables to ensure that the deployment is successful, which includes the Elasticsearch Windows Service, data and log files, folders for Elasticsearch Home and Java JRE, environment variables for Java Home and ES underscore heap underscore size. Please refer to the PeopleSoft Deployment Packages for Elasticsearch installation document on my Oracle support, Doc ID 2205540.2, which contains additional deployment verification checks not discussed in this presentation, steps to remove an Elasticsearch installation on Windows, and instructions on deploying Elasticsearch on a Linux environment. After you complete the PeopleSoft integration with Elasticsearch, you must identify and apply any necessary bug fixes delivered with the latest PeopleSoft update image for your PeopleSoft application. To do so, go to the PeopleSoft Update Manager homepage on My Oracle Support and locate and download the current update image for your PeopleSoft application. Features and fixes for Elasticsearch are delivered beginning with the following images. For HCM, features and fixes for Elasticsearch are delivered beginning with the image 9.2.018. For PeopleSoft Enterprise Learning Management, image 9.2.013. For PeopleSoft Financials and Supply Chain Management, 9.2.018. For PeopleSoft Customer Relationship Management, 9. Dot two dot zero one one, and for PeopleSoft Interaction Hub, nine dot one dot zero three. After installing Elasticsearch, the next task is to connect the PeopleSoft application with the Elasticsearch engine through a search instance. A search instance in the PeopleSoft Search framework represents a single instance of the search engine. The search instances created using the PeopleSoft Search Framework define the instances that will be used by the PeopleSoft application to provide end-user searching capabilities. The search instance definition specifies connectivity and other administration settings required for running queries against the search server and for administrative tasks. In a search instance, you provide values for host name, of the search provider, which is Elasticsearch, the port value, the administrator username and password that you entered while running the Elasticsearch DPK, and the proxy username and password that you entered while running the Elasticsearch DPK. Before creating the instance, verify that you have the necessary roles, search administration, search developer, Search Server and ACM Administration, which are described in the installation documentation. There are two ways to create an Elasticsearch search instance. Using the Automated Configuration Management, ACM, enables you to automate the configuration of an Elasticsearch instance. 
You can also use the Automated Configuration Manager to automate the deploying of search definitions and categories, as well as automate indexing. The Search Administration Activity Guide Configuration Activity features a Search Instance task. In this task, you use the Search Instance Properties page to create the Search Instance. We'll be talking more about these methods, and in a few minutes we'll be demonstrating using Automated Configuration Manager to create an Elasticsearch search instance. To use Automated Configuration Manager to create an Elasticsearch instance, you use a delivered template that automates the configuration process. The template you choose to use is based on your version of PeopleTools. For PeopleTools 855.11, use SES underscore template. For PeopleTools 855.12 and later releases, use the search underscore template template. In this presentation, we're using PeopleTools 855.13, so we'll be using the search underscore template template. This example shows the automated configuration manager configuration template definition page with the SES template selected. The delivered SES underscore template consists of four plugins. You need to edit the Search Instance Configuration plugin to specify the properties for the Elasticsearch engine, and also the Deploy Search Definition plugin to specify the search definitions and categories for deploying and indexing. The SES underscore template was used for configuring an S ES search instance, so you must ensure that you look at all the properties and edit it as required. You will need to pay attention to these two properties. env.ptsf underscore search underscore instance. Specify the search instance name. Be sure to change the env.ptsf underscore search underscore instance from the default value, such as ptsf underscore default, to ptsf underscore search. If not, the Oracle SES instance will be updated rather than the Elasticsearch instance. env.search underscore provider. Change the default value to ES. Select the deploy search definition and verify its properties. Save the template and execute the template. If the template is run successfully, a search instance will be created and the search definitions and categories will be deployed and indexes built. If you need additional information on running ACM templates, refer to the Automated Configuration Manager online help. This example shows the Automated Configuration Manager configuration template definition page with the search underscore template selected. The delivered search underscore template consists of two plugins, Configure Search Instance. In this plugin, you specify the configuration properties for a search instance and deploy search definition. In this plugin, you specify the deploying and indexing of search definitions and categories. The properties of the plugins are discussed in this demonstration. In the demonstration, we're using an environment that is running PeopleTools 855.13. So we'll demonstrate the creating of a search instance and building index using the search underscore template template. The steps are Navigate to Automated Configuration Manager, locate the search underscore template, edit the delivered template with values as per our environment, run the template, and then verify that the search instance is created and that the PT Portal Registry search definition and category is deployed and the index is built. Before you begin to use the ACM templates, verify that you have the ACM Administrator role. To edit search underscore template, navigate to People Tools, Automated Config Manager, ACM Templates, Template Definition, and then search for and open search underscore template. The delivered search underscore template consists of two plugins. Configure Search Instance. In this plugin, you specify the configuration properties for a search instance. And Deploy Search Definition. 
In this plugin, you specify the deploying and indexing of search definitions slash categories. To bring up the page where you can view and enter values for the configuration properties, you need to select a plugin and then click the properties icon for the plugin. First, we'll create a search instance, so select the configure search instance plugin and click the properties icon. Here, we'll discuss some of the major properties of the configure search instance plugin and the properties for which you need to provide values. env.ptsf underscore search underscore instance. In this template, the default name of the search instance is ptsf underscore search. You may change the name, but ensure that you do not have a search instance by the same name existing in your environment, because the template will update the existing search instance. In this presentation, we'll retain the default search instance name, that is ptsf underscore search. env.search underscore nodes. The number of nodes that have been set up for the Elasticsearch cluster. Elasticsearch provides high availability by forming a cluster of multiple nodes. If you have set up a cluster with multiple nodes, specify the number here. The page expands with additional property fields for the multiple nodes. As you can notice, the node has one appended to it. When you have more nodes, the nodes are appended with two, three, and so on. env.node1 underscore search underscore host the environment where you deployed Elasticsearch. In this template, the host is provided as a template variable, which you can see to the right of the page. env.node1 underscore search underscore port. The port on which Elasticsearch listens for requests. Enter the value that you supplied when running the Elasticsearch DPK. The default is 9200. In this template, the port is provided as a template variable, which you can see to the right of the page. env.node1 underscore search underscore admin underscore user. The administrative user for Elasticsearch. The default is esadmin. env.node1 underscore search underscore admin underscore password. The password supplied for the esAdmin user when running the Elasticsearch DPK. env.node1 underscore search underscore read underscore user. This is the proxy user that you specified while running the Elasticsearch DPK. The default is people. env.node1 underscore search underscore read, underscore password. The password supplied for the proxy user when running the Elasticsearch DPK. Save the template and execute the template. We use the Search Admin Activity Guide page to verify that the search instance, ptsf underscore search, is created. Navigate to People Tools, Search Framework, Search Admin Activity Guide, Configuration, Search Instance, and verify that the ptsf underscore search search instance is created with ES, Elasticsearch, as the search provider. Next, we'll deploy and build the index. So select the Deploy Search Definition plugin and click the Properties icon. Ensure to deselect the Configure Search Instance plugin. 
Next, we'll discuss some of the major properties of the Deploy Search Definition plugin. env.ptsf underscore selection underscore type. Valid values are all. Deploys all search definitions and categories, excluding the ones listed in env.ptsf underscore exclude underscore definitions. Global. Deploys search definitions and categories used for global search. List. Deploys the search definitions and their categories mentioned in env.ptsf underscore include underscore definitions. env.ptsf underscore include underscore definitions. Enter the search definitions that you want to deploy and build index for. In this presentation, we're entering PT Portal Registry. env.ptsf underscore admin underscore operations. Valid values are deploy. The search definitions will be deployed. Index. The search index will be scheduled. The index option will create run control IDs for both full indexing and incremental indexing, but schedules only full indexing for the first execution of the search underscore template. The full indexing run control IDs will have the naming convention search definition underscore full, and incremental indexing will have the naming convention search definition underscore INCR. When the search underscore template is executed the second and subsequent times, it will run incremental indexing only if the previous done full indexing is successful. Otherwise, it will again schedule full indexing. To schedule recurring incremental indexing, you must set the recurrence manually using the incremental run control IDs created by ACM framework from the schedule index page. ACM will not do this automatically. Undeploy. The search definition will be removed. Deploy, comma, index. Deploy search definitions and schedules search index. In this presentation, we're deploying and building index for the PT portal registry search definition. Save the template and execute the template. Use the Search Admin Activity Guide page to verify that the PT Portal Registry is deployed and indexed. Navigate to People Tools, Search Framework, Search Admin Activity Guide, Administration, Deploy Delete Object, and verify that the PT Portal Registry search definition is deployed. Then within Administration, click Schedule Search Index to verify that the index for the PT Portal Registry search definition is successfully built. The second method of creating a search instance is by using the Search Instance Properties page. This example shows the Search Instance Properties page located in the Search Administration Activity Guide. To navigate to this page, select People Tools, Search Framework, Search Admin Activity Guide. In the Configuration Activity, click the Search Instance task. The fields and controls on this page used to create an Elasticsearch instance are in the Search Instance section and in the Search Instance Properties section of the page. The Search Instance section contains a Search Provider field from which you select Elasticsearch as the provider. 
The Search Instance Properties section is where you define the parameters for the Elasticsearch server mentioned earlier and that you specified when deploying Elasticsearch, such as the Elasticsearch hostname, port, administrator user and password, and the proxy user and password. After entering the required values, use the ping utility to check whether the Elasticsearch host is up and running. You can use the test login and validate buttons to check whether the credentials are correct and working. Please refer to the 855 Search Technology Online Help for details on entering values in the various fields. Now we'll consider the steps to add nodes in an Elasticsearch cluster. Elasticsearch manages failover through multiple nodes within a cluster so that when one node fails, the other nodes in the cluster provide the index data when a search is initiated. When we install Elasticsearch using the Elasticsearch DPK, it creates a single node, but we can add additional nodes to manage failover. Use these steps to add an additional Elasticsearch node after you have completed the Elasticsearch DPK installation. Note that the additional node is added to the same cluster. The first step is to install Elasticsearch on a second server using the Elasticsearch DPK. During installation, provide the following. For the cluster name, specify the same name as that of the first Elasticsearch node. You need to enter this value so that the new node will join the cluster. Specify the IP address of the first Elasticsearch node at the prompt. Enter the host name of nodes which are already member of a cluster. Enclose one or more host names in square brackets with the host name or IP address in double quotes. If defining a list of two or more hosts, use a comma to separate the host names, as shown in the example. The second step is to open the Elasticsearch.yml file located in the Elasticsearch home directory on the second Elasticsearch node at the path shown. Set the value for the discovery.zen.minimum underscore master underscore nodes parameter to the number of nodes in the Elasticsearch cluster, including the new one you're adding. The third step is to stop and restart the second Elasticsearch node. Refer to the installation documentation for a detailed description on stopping and restarting an Elasticsearch node. After adding an additional node, the additional node has to be defined on the Search Instance Properties page. Refer to the PeopleTools 855 Search Technology Online Help. Before we complete this session, let's have a quick look at the various sources of information available on PeopleSoft Search Framework and Elasticsearch. Thank you.